can't let them crackers put me in another small box I had that Glock 30 when I was on your block And when I saw ops, I just let off all shots Damn, we really went to school with them niggas Only God knows what I wanna do to them niggas Yeah, times change, this is difficult Toting on a 40 inch adventure code No winter time is cold, son I do this for that little nigga with his nose running He can't wait to blow He can't wait to sneeze He ain't got shit But a 40, he can't wait to squeeze Hit a lick, then he got booked doing 10 games He can't why wait to Why the fuck leave. they hate me? Reason why is cause they ain't me Wanna see me fall, they wanna break me Why the fuck they hate me? My first rollie, I was 18 Taking all my cash out on the AP Why the fuck they hate me? They been plotting on me lately Ballin' till I'm fallin' like I'm KD why they hate me, man? Listen, man. Song of the week, man. Zig Money, me? man. Hate me, man. Check Wait, him out, man. Is? Listen, man. Zig Money, man. Zig. South Philly, man. What's South Philly. Up, Zig man? Money, man. They hate me. I like me. that joint. Listen, man. man. I'm Wallow267, and this is. Me, 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 no, nigga, this, this fuck that. You had your jaw broken. This week, again. listen. The way you did that, you had your I'm jaw broken. I'm Gilly the King. This is, this is Khan and the King of the Nut Ass Niggas. Just for the record, K O N A N, King of the Nut Ass Niggas. And we got our producer over there. Dev Nasty. No, 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 no. We got to put it, the whole, we got to put the I N on there. No, hold up. Devin Nasty. <laughs> hold up. Dangerous Devin Nasty. Oh. Dangerous dev and nasty. Yeah, because it lets you know that the I do porn ca- star. No, no, I do karate, I do karate and I'm a porn star. <laughs> that's that's a, that's that's a crazy handle. Right. I, like I, like if I see you in the back alley, because hold up, you know he got vigilante on his profile. Like he's a vigilante. Like if he see you doing some shit at night, he's gonna stop you from doing some crime. So so, so yeah, on his on his Instagram he page, got vi- he got vigilante. He got vigilante. Like what do that mean? Like if you see something happening, you're gonna stop. Yeah. You're I, gonna interfe- interfe- I intervene sometimes. So 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 I'm, if, I'm, if somebody shoots something. somebody, you're gonna jump in front of the bus. I just tell you something. No, I got a lot of love for you, right? <laughs> he said he gonna intervene. Keep that vigilante shit in Jersey. No, keep that shit in the house. Because <laughs> if you because try that shit in Philly, I mean, you, what's the difference between Philly and Camden? But listen, let me just say, let me ask you a keep, question. You don't be doing your vigilante work in Camden. Listen, listen, no, 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 no. He can, he can do stuff in Philly. He don't do his vigilante work in Camden. He can't do it in Philly because I done some vigilante work before. Yeah, and to a nigga one upside your fucking head and all that vigilante work went right out the window. Let me just ask you a question, Dad. Hey, let me ask you a question. How? Back in the day, because he was a vicious nut ass nigga. Like Wallow went through too. so many stages of life. He he was one of them niggas that used to wear the hat with the got the little nipple at the I top. I did not. I did not. Yes, what? Did, guardian bitch. Angel hat. Yes, you, you fucking lying. Yes, you did, bitch. You fucking lying. You wore a Guardian Angel you hat. Fucking like, you fucking lying. Are you? You did say you wanted to be one. Listen, no, I said listen. I respected what they was doing. He wanted because to be a we GA. was doing the same thing. He wanted to be. We a was GA. doing the same thing. He wanted to be a GA. Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely want to be right, guarding right, listen, angel. this is the old twist. Don't lie on me. Hold on, hold on. You don't lie he on me. He had the hat on with the little nipple at the top, right? Little hard, little joint. How old was right? he? Nigga was like 15. <laughs> You're lying, man. Come but on, man. 16. I was, listen, I Some wasn't even like put, listen, I was yes, not. Because them niggas, You're listen, lying. listen, them niggas was big back in the day. You got to understand, Wallo was off the porch. Wallo got locked up his first time when he was 11. Then he caught a case at 12, 13, 14, all those years. Every year he but, but a let case. Me just so how was he, he a criminal a and a crime stopper? You, because no, listen, no, because it, it, listen, it, it, he looked up to them niggas, right? It, it was, it's real. It's actually moronic. It's crazy. To, he tried to stop a old head. He's a young boy. He tried he to stop an old head from snatching a pocketbook back in the day. He lying on me. Old head went upside his shit. You know what you know old head went up beside your shit at Broad and Allegheny in the subway. Listen, I'm gonna tell Not you what happened. Hat I'm gonna tell you what happened. Off and I didn't even know he ran. Listen, what happened is he basically ran over, like ran into me. He was big and he bumped me. <laughs> I wasn't fighting crime that day, so he's lying on me. We was just there, but I knew he was gonna remix the story. We was there, we stand there. He snatched a jaw, and I turn around because I hear a scream. Because when I hear a scream, that's when the vigilante kick in. All I heard was, ah, give me my pocketbook. I go to turn around and see what's going on. Poof. He, listen, this dude was big. So when he ran, he ran by me, but I didn't, I wasn't in defense mode, so it don't count. That shit don't count. You can't put he that smart, you, you can't put that shit on my jacket. He on top of your head. No, he didn't go on yes, my he head. Did. He just he hit, went up top he bumped head. me, man. He bumped me. He ran, listen. Oh, he, so he bumped you and your hat flew off. <laughs> listen, he bumped me. He bumped me. Listen, all he did, listen, all he did was bump me. And, but, he, but it was a hard bump because he big as shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's, a, and the only reason he got away 
if Earl was there, that shit wouldn't happen. He wouldn't even thought about doing no shit like that if Earl was there. But you was the, like the son of Earl, so. But no, I didn't know what was going on. Right. Like this, this nut probably seen him, seen what was happening. Because I'm like, say you talking to somebody. I'm about my business. I ain't nothing talking, to do with that. You supposed to inform me about what was going on, so. Oh, he was older than both of us. I ain't had nothing to do with that. But he looking this. Let's just imagine he looking this way. And all I had to scream, he's seen everything go down. Like, like you see, he's seen what go on, and he did not, he didn't let me know. So he see what's go down. And all you heard was, ah, I gave my pocketbook back. And you I go to turn nothing. around. All I get ran over. He step, shit, out, he he step out, he step out the way. He step out the way, tell me, you all right, cuz. <laughs> Like, yeah. you a cow, like, you ain't even... Man, like, let's dude, get into our but, but just Listen, to, just for the record, a vigilante don't mean like you necessarily out in the bushes saving other people. It means like you might be a good, a regular citizen. You don't do crime. But when somebody fuck with you, you don't go to the police. You kind of take things into your own hands. That's, that's what I was doing. Yeah, well, that's, that's a vigilante. That's what Earl was doing, too. But listen, we want to get into our sponsors. <laughs> this Listen, this million dollars worth of game is sponsored by Springfield Hyundai. It's not just about a Hyundai. It's about any car that you want. Springfield Hyundai can take care of you, man. Just reach out to them, tell them that Wallow267 sent you, and I'm telling you, they're going to bless you in a way you've never been blessed before. If you're walking and you want to be driving, you need to get with Springfield Hyundai. A lot of us, I, you know what's crazy? I remember when I, you know, I didn't, you know, at one time, I ain't even going to front, I'm going to talk about this one story. I didn't, I didn't really know how to drive, right? And, uh, you still don't know how to listen, fucking drive. Listen, we had, listen, and this nut got drunk, right? He got drunk. We had Cousin Nessie car, and I made, I got his back from, I got his from uh, Broad and Diamond. That's when uh, it was a, uh, uh, what's the name? McDonald's was jumping off Club McDonald's. I got back from Bro and Diamond all the way to uh, 15th in Allegheny. And got you home safe. Got you home safe. This one, I, you know, this one I really didn't know how to drive. But if you know how to drive and you got a license, I think you should go to Springfield Hyundai. I know you're saying to yourself, why did he just tell that story? What did that story have to do with Springfield Hyundai? They're just talking about that. I don't really know. I'm just telling you that I don't know, but I was just, I just was talking about, I just needed it because it, it popped up in my mind. So I had to tell you that story. But if you need a car, listen, 8449 drive now. Get with Springfield Hyundai and they're going to hook you up. And once again, they're not just going to get you a Honda. Any car that you want, they can take care of you. They can get you any type of car you want. You want a horse, they can get you that because that's, that's classified as a vehicle. If you got a buggy attached to it, is that vehicle, do you, like, is that classified as a vehicle? Because they be still doing that downtown. Horse Let me and buggy. Ask you a question. What? What's your credit got to look like? The credit could look like no, it might don't look like mine's because my credit is great these days. But it could look like whatever you want it to look like. I'm not in, I'm not encouraging you to have your credit look like anything, but you should have your credit good. But if you don't have no good credit and your credit is not all that, if you got challenged credit and you still got employment, you can show shines that you get some income. They're gonna hook you up. Springfield Honda. I mean, eight. <laughs> for what? Hyundai. <laughs> This nigga talks so fast. He don't know what. Springfield Honda eight four four nine drop now. So was you said Gilly was drunk when you had to drive him? Yeah, I had to drive him. He was drunk. He had he had some like at this time. I think this was St. Oz. He had like two. Oh. He had two forties in St. Or did somebody roofie? The Nobody like roofie him or nothing. Slipped him a Mickey. I mean, no, somebody slipped my man a, a Mickey, and he was at woke up at the hospital with his ass bleeding. A couple what? weeks ago, you got a lot of explaining to do. Uh, Slim, a couple weeks ago, what? Slim, <laughs> Slim, you got a lot of explaining. <laughs> oh, no, no, Let me just say something. He got some case money, right? <laughs> oh, no. Listen, he got some case money, right? This is a real person. Listen, this he is got a real some person. case money. Uh, he he had eighty six thousand dollars in a book bag. We went to FC Curry back the other day. He bought a car straight cash, right? He left FC Curry back magically. Left went missing for two days, and then when he finally talked to him, he was perfectly fine. Woke up at the hospital with his ass bleeding. Talking about he don't know what Nobody ain't take no money from him or nothing. Still got the book bag His cheeks with was more in money in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he told me somebody yeah. slipped me a roofie. Where would you have to get slipped a roofie? Mm. What type of what type mm. of life? What, what, I'm shout sure. out to Slim. Shout out to Slim. I don't and know. And all where. the roofie slippers. So did, did you think Rusty slipped it? I think Rusty might have slipped. Rusty him. gave him a roofer. <laughs> but where Rusty take him for him to be in the in the painting? How you get rushed to emergency for 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 for, for behind injury? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, how do you get rushed to emergency for that? And you got, you just wake up, you don't know you where you're at. Where he was got Rusty shot at? The ass. Where was Rusty at? Oh, where was Rusty at? That's my old twist. Because the last, you was last seen with Rusty. And all of a sudden, you tell me. And about, then we all know you can't trust no nigga named Rusty. Yeah, they did sound like that's something. That's a bad choice. That sound like it's like, a bad handle. But then, right. then on top of that, they test your blood. They say, you had roofie, all type of roofie paraphernalia in your blood. <laughs> You know what I mean? Ho, ho, ho. Paraphernalia hey, listen, is not. Let's get in the million dollars worth of game. Paraphernalia man. is with the, 
it coming out. I'm not. Yo, you have roofie yeah, or Fennelia is what it coming. Like the extra, the accessory, the, drug. Shut the up. accessory. Yeah. yeah, but he had nah, it in his, in his blood. Ass nigga, <laughs> nigga had, had paraphernalia in his blood. Shut the fuck up. He's a nut ass nigga. Hey, hey, listen, let's get into this uh, segment of Million Dollars Worth of Game, right? Hold up. This uh, segment of Million Dollars Worth of Game is sponsored by, have you had any good hair lately? <laughs> Life is about to change for us, guys. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen, but uh, I'm going to just say this. If you can't relate, don't hate. But, you know, once again, this is sponsored by I'm going to have good hair lately. Dev's going to have good hair lately. Gil's going to have good hair lately, soon. And we're going to be telling you, but this is sponsored by EverythingDivaGlam.com. What the fuck would happen if IG shut down? IG shut down. What do you do? What do you do, Dev? I'm going to keep it all be real. If, if IG shut down, a lot of these niggas is not going to have any bitches. Yeah. Because most of these niggas get their bitches out of a DM. Yeah. Because these, and be old niggas too. They don't know how to talk to a chick. No. But so, 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 if, if you take IG away, a lot of niggas ain't going to handle bitches. You got to think, a lot of niggas, like, we it's gonna go back to It's going to go back to you had to, had to run up on bitches. Yeah. Like, before texting, like, it was niggas that couldn't get bitches before texting. Because they couldn't talk on the phone. They couldn't talk to a chick in, in, in real life and then get on the phone and finesse it. They got to think about what they're going to say I'm and type it, it and all that IG shit. shut down. I be salty as shit, though. I love IG. <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. If IG shut down, dear um, Instagram business owner, you're in trouble. Most people got a lot of businesses on Instagram and they connect with people and they just hit the link and it's cool. But people don't handle physical locations. A lot of people is not collecting emails, collecting people emails and none of that. So they're done. It's nowhere, if you just, if you just, if you're selling me something that you just drop off the earth because newsflash, Black Planet, MySpace, Vine, it's all gone. I truly believe that Instagram going to be gone one day. I deeply believe that. And of a lot course. Of, and a lot of people think it's like, everything is about they taking something away from you. Your alerts don't go to everybody when you post something no more. Everything is about to take, 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 take. And then it might just say, woof. And Facebook might buy something else that's on the move. Right. So everything that you was living on the gram, which is the black mm, CNN, that's what you hear your news first. Anything that you know, you hear first on the gram. Oh, what's name got shot? Oh, what's name did this? Trump did this. You hear first on the gram. Somebody posting it, put, put in there. But I just say, if you got a business right now, take advantage, collect people emails, build a relationship with your customers. Because if Instagram shut down, a lot of pieces of people is done. When I, I'm talking about done. Yeah, building a relationship is most important because I've run my whole, my whole operation Listen, off of social and, media. And let me tell you something. If Instagram, it's pros and cons to Instagram shutting down, though. If Instagram shut it, shut down, guess what? You know how many niggas ain't got the fraud no motherfucking more? They can just go back to reliving their they regular life. They can just life. go back to being regular because all these niggas is frauding on the gram. Let's keep it real. All these niggas is living a lie. You know how many niggas is standing on Bentley with H&M jeans on? You mean to tell me you standing on a Bentley with some fucking H&M jeans on? He just probably enjoying living his best life. No, that, that that don't go together. Like, you, but niggas say they money up. They run in Miami. They run a car for one day. And take 11,000 pictures in that one motherfucking day. You hear me? Them niggas, listen. Niggas, now the niggas go back to being regular now. It's no more regular niggas out here. Everybody's living a life. Every these bitches could go back to being regular. You hear me? They ain't got a front. They ain't got to be in competition. They ain't. You bitches can go back to being regular. Yeah, do you believe the Instagram uh, raised the the insecurity rate? Yes. In because community? Instagram. Let me tell you something. Motherfuckers could go back to not arguing. Because let's let's be for real. A lot of arguments, arguments that happen. Beef. Be about Instagram. So it's some pros and kind. Of, People some, got killed about Instagram. There's some bitches right now that wish Instagram would shut the fuck down. Because they can't stop they niggas from being in bitches DMs. So there's some pros and some cons to it. You but, know? But but so you're saying that, and you believe, do y'all y'all agree that uh 90% of our Problems in the black community all come from Instagram. It's a beef. It's a problem. I ain't speaking to them because they ain't post me or I ain't this or this, then the third. I wouldn't say 90%, but I'd probably say about 70%. That's a large percentage, though. That's that's sad. 
most people don't like each other. What's the name? Because oh, y'all post this. Oh, you but po- it's it's crazy that in people's minds, Instagram give you validation. No. Oh, my girl posted me on her Instagram. She loves me more. Oh, he, my boyfriend posts me on Instagram. He really loves me. A lot of times, I don't mean that. They're just, they're just, that's just the cover that they somewhere fucking doing something and to throw you off. Like, and it might not be, but for, for people, that's validation. IG is like instant validation. I think it's because if people have a page and they show everything in their life, but they don't show their girl or, they, or their dude, in people's minds, it looks it looks weird. Like, damn, you'll show everything, your dog, your job, your, your, your homies that you go out with, but you because, never see the nigga. Because let's be for real. A lot of these bitches be stepping stones. No disrespect. Dudes, too. Right. So, uh, I'm with you. I love you. You look out for me, but bitch, you ugly. I ain't showing my side bitches that face. So I bitches be mad as shit. That's who you go home to, bitch looking like Caesar. You like this. You hugging Caesar. She all on your Instagram page. Go! <laughs> but what do you what do you do? You go to Facebook now? So Yeah, so, they wanna go to something else. So so sometimes motherfuckers gotta face reality. Oh, he don't she don't he, she don't never she don't never post me. You ain't a good look. Damn. Is that true? I mean, I could see that being an issue. It could be plenty of things, man. Is that true? <laughs> but that's why, but that would make it the validation thing because it's validating it, it from what Gil's saying. In their minds, it's validating that he is proud of how I look or who I am. Right. So he posts me up so they feel validated. They right. feel like what you said. They could be sneaky, but it's really like at least he's letting bitches know that I exist. You know what I mean? Right. That's what you, they You know how for. many niggas in a relationship I feel like? Bitch, I'm a secret. I know I'm a secret. You don't even acknowledge me. <laughs> like, that's because, you know, she she ain't, a lot of times, she ain't fucking you. She fucking the leather seats in that Mercedes. You, you, she, you, she with you because you, you make a life brighter because you make her bills lighter. Mm-hmm. It's a, di- it's a difference, player. So if Instagram shut down, a lot of people going to be disconnected from getting their bills paid? What? Absolutely. What? Hold on. These bitches sell pussy on Instagram. Let's be for real. You're this not is saying a- Instagram is back page. <laughs> Shit. They just changed the name? Hey, every time I put something up, it's bitches in my comments. You wouldn't believe my story when you see it. <laughs> Look at my story right now. I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> Come get this pussy for three hundred. Like, what are you talking about? No, but see, like, but see, yeah. I understand what he's saying because a lot of a lot of women will put it on their stories and put it on their page. Oh, don't DM me! Don't DM me if you can't pay my bills. You're like, damn, right? Yeah, that's a maybe fact. straightforward. Right. Don't DM me if you can't pay my right. bills. Don't, like, don't want to chill if you can't pay a bill, bill, nigga. If you can't pay a bill, you can't chill. Yeah. Shit real around here. Shit real. You they tried to mean? make that shit sound cool too. They made it sound real smooth. I ain't got no time. No, I'm, it's no, cool. no, my my time my, my time is worth money. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You got to respect a woman that's like that because she letting you know what it is. She let you know she's selling something. You want, you want me to put these lips on your dick? You better have a grip. You got to <laughs> respect that. Yeah. Nah, but some of them, that's not that they, you they say. They don't that. say it like in a prostitution way. They try to make it more like this is what a man's wait, wait, supposed wait, wait, to wait, do. Wait, wait, hold on. That's, I'm saying that's wait, how wait, they deliver it. Wait, bro. hold on. Who don't know when a woman's selling pussy? That's not what I said. You you know what a woman says. Yeah, but pussy. that's that's not what I said. So that Deb, you don't want some pussy in your lifetime. Who? Dev don't buy. Yeah, I heard Deb bought some pussy in his life. When? Tell him, tell the story. Tell it. Oh, all right. Okay. I, I, I want to hear it. Tell it. Tell it. You bought some pussy in your life. No, I didn't. Nothing. No, you bought some pussy at 14. That don't count, man. God damn. You you bringing up shit from back in the day. Oh, Everybody was buying buying something back then. And no, they wasn't. Hey, listen, what? listen, listen, listen. He was with hey, me. Listen, I, listen, I mean, he was listen, with listen. Me. listen. His first dick could suck came from a smoker. Now, granted, now, she lying, had just lying. started smoking. You lying? You lying? You lying? Granted, he's lying. Just, no, no, listen, no, listen, no, Greg, no, granted, he's lying. granted, she just started smoking, but she was a nice smoker. Like you're she lying, wasn't man. all the way out there yet. She, but his first dick suck came from a smoker. Let me ask you something, real, real, and be real. He was thirteen. You gonna be real? His first dick suck came from Sherry. 
<laughs> yo, it's for his dick sucking. You use a rat, man. You use a you, you use a rat. What's the uh, snitch no, back? The snitch back. No, 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 I'm not going to snitch back. Snitch back. That's wait, not cool. Wait, wait, snitch wait, back. Wait, wait. Type of shit is dead. I'm not sure. He's a rat. <laughs> He's a red. Like, I ain't going nowhere with that. That's a snitch back. Go ahead. Damn. Go ahead. He's, he's dead. Dead back in a, in a civilian mind. Snitch back. Snitch on me, I'm a snitch back. Snitch back. Do you hit me your snitch back? You snitch back. You snitch back. Snitch back. Do you hit me? Go ahead. Do you snitch, 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 snitch back? Snitch back. I got, what the fuck type of shit is that? He think it's civilian mind. I don't know. He was about, he was just about to make up a story on me just now. You no, know what I'm saying? wasn't, Deb. I heard you, boy pussy. I just ain't want to say where I heard it from. And, tell, and, uh, tell it. Tell me, never bother. Tell it, because this he is how, he this, no, no, because this is how factual and sure it's like. I've okay, never done on. that. Okay, hold on. You never bought no no, no dick suck from Sherry. And granted, you got the dick suck before she was all the way out there like, on like crack. Some real stuff. Like she had just some real stuff. Everybody that's watching <laughs> this, all, everybody that's watching this, I'm gonna just say, Gil, you a rat. You a rat. <laughs> and I'm not saying I've done nothing, but you telling on people. Like what type of time? You saying you might see, you might have got me mixed we, up with somebody else. We live our truths here. All right, how much how much how much pussy did you buy in your life? Tell the truth. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it all the way real. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it all the way. You real. lost count. If you lost count, <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I don't. I don't play the pay. You know what I mean? He said he only tip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play the pay. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, I ain't never. I ain't never passed off no dub for some love. <laughs> Before everybody listen, I'm putting it out there. I'm putting it out there. I passed off I'm a fifty four quick. I'm putting it out there. What is wrong with you? A hundred. A hundred and right, I done right. it. How about this? I don't know what you're talking How about, about this? How about this? Can I? How about this? You remember I had the gray Pontiac Sunbury before yes, I went to jail? Do, do you <laughs> with, with bad motor listen, mounts on? Listen, listen, no. He had a gray Sunbury no. with bad motor mounts. No, 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 no. Do you remember this? How about this? We go down on the side block of Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> And you bought that pussy. <laughs> and you tell my wallow, get out the car. And you, and you, and you, and you listen, you bought the pussy. You, you, you knocked the chick off on the back seat of my car. <laughs> snitch back. Listen, you knocked it off on the back seat. What you do, snitch back? You're a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> you're a bitch ass nigga. I did it. Like, you're a rat. No, it's a real you're shit. You're a rat. Oh, it's a real shit. You're a rat. I just want to know this. I just want to know this. Listen, <laughs> how much did you pay her? How much did you pay her? How much did how much did you pay? Two watching this shit. So, <laughs> that was before two. We was kids, two. This don't count, two two D. We was kids. This don't count. This don't even count. But I'm just saying, why you listen, 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 you jumped in the back. <laughs> you, you and Dev, two nut ass niggas. No, you Y'all made up snitch back. What you do? Snitch no, no, back. No, no. Y'all some nut ass niggas. I'm just saying. Y'all some nut ass niggas. Listen, listen. Like, it, 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 you was on top of it. And you had a missionary in the back seat. Well, you know how I was. He, all I see, out. all I see Cut was his hand on the, the, on the window in the back. I'm out. like, yo, cuz, what you doing in there? UMK. You're like, chill, cuz, watch out. Yeah. Watch out. Make sure Come the cops are You know pull. UMK listen, missionary listen, killer. Anybody from Philly, they know about that back, that side block. That side block in, and when we used to go in Fox Valley, you used to buy something. Mm -mm. You used to try something. You said, they said, you want to try something, you got to buy something. I only bought a hand job out of Fox Valley. I only bought a hammy. A hand, I only bought a Angela Simmons. You got a hand job from some hands. You I only, got a, bought, listen, a hand, Dev, I only Dev, bought a Angela Dev, Simmons. How you get a hand job from a hand and gave out a ha thousand hand jobs? No, she no, she watched. She didn't watch the hand. Yeah, it's listen, a dirty hand. Listen, listen, Fox Valley was dark. A, we, it was dark hey, in there. We had some dark, dirty nights. <laughs> no, I didn't hold weed. I don't know. <laughs> No, I didn't. This dude, listen. You cranked the fat bitch in Fox Valley. He lied on me. This dude would get drunk, right? What the fuck is you talking about? Wait, wait. No, these niggas is telling, telling you. Lying Yo, you cranked the fat bitch in Fox Valley. Gil, tell him. Gil, tell You lying on me, cuz. You must be putting smut on my name. I'm going to just say this. You ain't cranked a fat bitch. Oh, 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 don't discriminate. You ain't cranked that soldier boy on a fat bitch in Fox Valley. I will say this. I will say this. I will say this. He, he, got a, right he got a hand job. I'm gonna keep it all we real. From a hand job master, it was just a bunch of hand jobs jumping off, and you just you just was next. I just wanted to drop some some lotion in a palm. That's all. <laughs> Let me get that out of here. She already had lotion on a palm. I wanted to drop some piece. bird shit. Wow. Right yeah. Hey, listen, man. Let's get into a fucked up situation that's going on out here. <sighs> Talk about it. And all the women. Want to get married. I mean, I want to just a husband that's going to love me, who's going to take care of me, who's going to be there for me. Hey, deep. step of the way. Uh, you got niggas out here, man. I just want to be with my woman for the rest of her life, man. You know me, my baby. But 50% of marriages end in divorce. 50%? 50. In, in America, today, we did the research, 50% of people are getting divorced. So, 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 so let me tell you something. If you the one... That's winning financially. I suggest you think that shit over. 
And you got to remember, marriage is a business. So Absolutely. when you marry somebody, you know, you get married, their debt is your debt. I mean, like, they got to pay child support. You got to help them. Right. So you mean to tell me if you and April get married, your debt is her debt? <sighs> April, watch yourself. Just saying. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I ain't got no debt out here. I ain't, I ain't got no deal. Let me nigga, see. Nigga, you old niggas from from when you went to jail, motherfucker. Fuck is you talking oh, oh, about? Oh, I don't know, but I, I was I was streets. All my stuff was cash money, bro. Oh, right. Cash money like your bull baby records. Oh, okay, yeah, you you love baby, don't you? No, I'm just saying. They like, said you was gonna be able to get a couple teardrops and a star in the middle of your shit, <laughs> just like. I ain't got to listen. I ain't got nothing to worry about. I got an 800 credit score. I'm out here doing my thing. I don't owe nobody nothing. So, you know, what I mean, we doing the one too. Okay, so you just want to shout out you got hey, you just look he, yeah. he gonna pull his credit score up. <laughs> he he went in. Hey, ball, baby, eight oh two. He went yeah. in. I'm out here. This, this, uh, that's this what's is up. You got oh, eight. Way. All right, you got eight oh two. By the way, that's the flex. That's the new flex. What's your credit score? It ain't about no drip or none of that. I, I, don't, I don't need. I don't. You know, I don't need all that. That's the that's the big drip. So, so the just, marriage is safe. With, so you with just Wallow. flexed. Yeah, I think that was. That's what they call it. Was that a weird flex? Some shit like that. Some shit like that. Eight hundred credit score. They call it the big drip. That's the big drip. Big drip. So let me ask y'all a question. So what do you feel about the marriages? I mean, 50%, that's a large number. How many people do you know just getting married just to say they got married? Just to flex on a family member or just saying, I got married, I'm married, I'm better than you. You ain't getting married. You Like, how many people you think do that? How many people just want to have their stuff on Instagram and just had his life like everything is perfect? Spent a bunch of money that they don't have in order to depress a bunch of people that don't give a fuck about them for real. Absolutely. That really don't like them. Okay, so this is what I don't understand. Because we talked about this. This is what I don't understand. How could a couple be together for 10 years, get married, and be together for two years, and then it's over? It's over. I'm confused. What the fuck changed? Sometimes women or men might think they have more of an ownership over a person once they get married. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hear women say stuff like, you my husband now. Don't go chill with your boys. And like, right. I've, I've heard that so many times. And, and what the... What the fuck is the difference? Yeah. You're my husband now. Now, now shit changed. I got to change my daily life around because I said I do. Yeah, that's what they think. That don't make fucking sense. Let me ask you a question, though. How much do the average wedding cost? A like, shitload of money. Yeah. Like, I'm, talk, I'm talking about a, 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 a regular down, like a regular. I think like I mean, 25 to 30. What? Well, you can get you can get married for cheap. Yeah, if for you cheaper. Want, but, yeah, but you know, uh, most people can't don't want to do it cheap because at the end of the day, for the for Does the woman look? is I've been dreaming of this day since I was three, my, since I was two and a half, and I could be able to dream. I just wanted to walk down the aisle and have doves flying and flowers dropping on me. Oh, but that's easy. Then. The, that's easy. Oh, right. listen, that ain't that don't cost a lot of money. No, but they want to do, do that shit at the at the. Uh, no, no, but hold up, hold up. The Hyatt let, let, let me make this all his dreams. You make all his dreams come true. You know where you take him to? You know where you take him to? What? Go down to Orlando. Excuse me. Go find a church. Get a pastor. Could you could you go here to the park with us? Could you go to Walt Disney World with us over here? They are not going for that, bro. Just, wait, 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 that's wait, everything wait. he said. The flowers wait, 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 and all wait, this wait, shit. Oh, wait. That's everything wait, he said. Wait, uh, I'm just saying. He just he just said some grown man. And some kid shit at the same time. No, you said that's. I've no, been no, dreaming no. about it. The wait, flowers wait, wait, flying. Hold on, hold on. All the wait, shit you said but you is, just is right said there. Some grown man kid shit. That nigga said, fly to Orlando, get a reverend, and go to Disney World and get married. Who the fuck gets married next to Mickey and Goofy? What because every day, he, everything he said, everything. He but think about this, Dev. Everything he said described Disney World. Hey, you know they went to flowers and winds blow. All this crazy shit. G Goofy would be his best man. <laughs> That is my boy, though. I would. That, that wouldn't be bad, well, Goofy, right Goofy there. is what Goofy does. But hold on, no, Goofy and can't we be. already knew you're a rat. One, two, three, snitchies. What you, what's the name of the game? Goofy, Goofy. One, two, three, hold on, hold on. What is Goofy? Goofy's, he's, he's Goofy's a dog. like a dog. He's a nut. He's a dog. He don't even know who Goofy is. <laughs> That's Mickey Mouse. Oh, I'm saying. Mickey, no, oh, man. you're a rat said, next to Goofy. I, I, said, I just said next you to. would be with Goofy. Who the fuck wants to go to Disney World and be next to Goofy and fucking Mickey Mouse? That's what I said. Then I said, Goofy is what Goofy does, and we already know you a rat. So that's both of them. Now, if just because you two slow niggas' brains don't work like mine's, please forgive me. Let me say this, Def. I want to have Goofy on the ring because he might lose it because he's Goofy. Think Listen, about that. But you're in, you're in a room with two people that work in that wedding industry. You feel what I'm saying? Like me and B-Rock. And they spend that bread even on the photographer, the videographer. How much a photographer call? A videographer. I mean, 3000 The package deal? 
Yeah, B Rock. No, 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 it's not a pack, package deal. I'm about he, to be B Rock manager. That nigga do a wedding every week. Yeah, right, yeah, listen, yeah. How about Twelve thousand a month. How about this? How about this? What's some if we had to put the wedding together right here, if somebody said, So so what did we spend? Three thousand for photo four to four thousand for photos. How no, much no, dress No, cost? no, you might have spent three to four thousand for video. You might have spent two to three thousand for your photos. It's two different things. Oh right. shit. Right. Huh? Hundred dollars per head to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like 70 motherfuckers did. Look, the DJs yeah, get cake. Man, no, that, cousin Boo Boo, everybody listen, coming. That's listen, cool. that shit get expensive, man. Yeah. But the fact that 50% of the divorces is happening in America and all over the world. What's the problem? A lot of times the father figure ain't in the home. So now the father ain't home. How, what, what impact so, do you think they have so, on the kids? Right. So what impact do you think the father figure, not, not fuck it, take the father figure out of the kid life. What factor do you think a father figure not being in the kid's life plays? That's major. Because I'm going to keep it all the way real. My dad came back into my life when I was 15 turning 16, right? And I was never one of those kids that, that like, fuck that nigga. He ain't here for me. I never felt like that because, honestly, none of my friends had fathers. Correct. So that shit was, like, normal. It's like the normal. It's sad it was, that, that that's normal. That shit was normal. Like, where we come from. It's normal. Honestly. I never regretted my pop on the type of time. Oh, that nigga don't do nothing for me. Him, da da da. He, he. I never did because none of my homies had a father. None of them. Not one of my homies that I grew up with had a father figure. That's fucked up in they fucking household. So that shit was normal. It didn't play no psychological effect on me or none of that. It, no, it might have. You just didn't notice it in that way, bro. Because if you think about it like this, I didn't grow up with no father figure either, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that, this is just my opinion. I think it might have fucked up me taking authority from a man. Like I, like, I, do. I, like, I, like I literally felt like, can't no nigga. I would listen to a woman, an older woman, but couldn't no nigga tell me nothing. I don't give a fuck if he a grown man or nothing. It's like, I'm a man, you a man, you can't tell me shit. You feel what I'm saying? So I it, it would I think it would funnel into like teachers shit yeah, like that. Yeah, but what but with a woman I kind of just oh, I got my mom, my aunts, everybody always around. You feel what I'm saying? It was just different. You know? I'm gonna say this. When I grew up in my hood, mm -hmm. it was only Mr. Saeed around. This is my you know brother from another mother, Saeed dad, Mr. Saeed. He was like the only dad in the neighborhood. But everybody in my neighborhood didn't have no father. And all of us was locked up before we was in the system before I got killed. Like every homie that I had, I don't remember nobody father being around. Either father was dead on drugs or 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 they was in the joint. So I'ma say this, it's like, it was crazy. It was real crazy, man, growing up. It was like that get like you heard what he said. None of nobody had nobody had fathers and that's normal. It's like we we didn't normalize dudes not taking care, taking their responsibility or dudes being mentally in another place to where it's doing they say they don't want to that fatherhood ain't for them. Right. And it's like today, where we at in the world that we at in the day, it's like, man, on some real shit, if you out there and you got some kids and you take care of your kids, man, I salute you. As a, you know, you know, black men, you know, Latino men in the ghetto is just different. You know what I mean? But I, this goes to anybody, no matter your race. Like if you a father and you out there and you could be in your child life and you're not, I think it's necessary that you go find your children. Mm -hmm. Because you don't the 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 impact, the impact that that a father not being in the house, it's, it's just crazy. It's devastating. Now you now now your child getting introduced to drugs, they're getting introduced to crime. It's just getting somebody there could take advantage of your child. Like, man, on some real shit, man. It's necessary that men need to step up and really be in their children's life. Because if you're not in your children's life, somebody else might be in your children's life. And the person that's in your children's life might not be there to look out for your children the way you're supposed to be there to looking out for them. You right. know how many boys and girls been molested because another man was in the house? that had whatever on their mind and, and you wasn't there to protect your child so your daughter got molested or your, or your son got touched all they ain't type got of crazy nobody shit. to come to and, and they ain't got nobody to come to so it's like if you out there you in the streets whatever you at I advise you man that you put your children first and try to figure them out and you know what I mean and really figure this shit out and you know whatever's going on with the mother and just say you know what my relationship with my child supersede whatever ill will or whatever I had towards the mother or whatever she done to me nothing is more powerful than you connecting with your child as a man, like you got to go get your children. Like you got, it's a must, you know, because 
if if I if I if I had a father, if my father was there, you know, I had a father, somebody that was in my life, but you know, rest in peace, a big hit. But he was in the street, he was active in the street. So what do you think I supposed to do? Like right. you know, he gave me game, but he right. gave me game on how to navigate in the streets. Right. That give me a, a a thought on something Gil said too. Like Gil, was you did you know where your dad was? Like you knew, like seen him around or anything? Oh, my dad was in the ATL. So so this is this so this is the difference. Like with my situation, my pop would be two blocks from where we at right now. Camden Little, when I see him every few years, I just run into him going into the corner store or some shit like that. So I would see my pop. My pop might see me on the street. Oh, what's up, son? Give me $10 or something like that. Pat me on the head and shit. I go home singing his praises. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mom, my dad gave me this. And, this. What was your mom and saying? my mom would be like, you, you saw him? Like, and he gave you $10 and now you... You worshiping him, you know. My, it, she, I will see how yeah. she felt it, but but when I got older, because it was just like your dad's still a superhero. When I got older, I didn't feel like Gil felt like none of my boys had dads either. But I felt a resentment once I realized like this nigga live here, like he around here. You feel you what I'm saying? Care. Like yeah, he around here, and that, so it gave me a different feeling than what. Gil might have felt because I used to be on some like if I run into my pop like as a teenager like, I run into my pop yo we 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 gonna stroll him you know what I'm saying and my my friends felt the same way about their father I you know? mean and what's so crazy is that you know by the time me and my pop came around we had a little argument a little little shit we went through because it was like like I got kicked out of my mom house so I had to go live with my pop but at the time I'm like 16 years old. And he like, yeah, you're going to be coming at you, your curfew 11 o'clock. I'm like, nigga, I ain't came in at 11 o'clock when I was 11. What the, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not coming to fucking at no 11 o'clock. Nigga, I was snatching earrings at 12. Like, you think I'm coming in at 11? Oh, yeah, you got me fucked up. That shit crazy. We went right man. through it in my nanny house. <laughs> I think I tried to stab him or something. I love you, Pop. Crazy. How did how did you I gain just, a certain? I'm just telling the story. I think I tried to poke a hole in him. With, how with did you gain that respect me. for him, though? How did that develop, yo? Because at the end of the day, he came into my life. I was probably 15, 16 years old. A few years later, I had my first child. You feel what I'm saying? I was out my mom's house at 18. So now when you start living... A, an adult life, you start to understand what adults go through. Mm -hmm. Damn, I got to pay these motherfucking bills on the first. Damn, I got a child. Damn, my daughter need pampers. And then my whole thing was, I feel like the, the most that I took from my dad not being around was me saying I would never, my kids ain't going to never feel like that. No, I get that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I never really took it. Like, because, like I said, it was a normal thing. Like, I couldn't, it, it, I didn't get a chance to be jealous and envious. I didn't go to my friend's house, they mom there, they dad there, they eat together, and then they sit in. See, shit like that is what make it sit in. Yeah. Because you go to somebody else's house, and you see it, you like, damn. Then you go to this nigga house, his mom and dad there, you like. Now, as a kid, you like, damn, my dad don't even give a fuck about me. He ain't around. But when you go to this nigga house, he live with his same, grandma. Same shit, yeah. <laughs> like, all right. You go to this nigga house, he live with his mom. His mom on drugs. He fuck more fucked up than what you is. Right. Your other friend, he live with his, with his fucking brothers. His brother do fucking construction. Ain't home all day. He basically raised himself. Like, it's like you don't really get a chance to be jealous and envious. Does your dad bring up yeah. any guilt from the past now, like as a grown man? No, nah. because at the end of the day, me and my dad is the best of... They got a great relationship. Yeah. They got a great relationship. I'm not no nigga that hold on to yesterday. Listen, man, whatever you and my mom was going through, y'all was going through that. Yeah. I ain't got no fucking, no issues with that, man. What's crazy is my, what me, look, me and my pop is tight now, and, and we cool, but he's still like, every once in a while, he'll get like in that emotional mood because like, like, I ain't going to get into it, into it, but when I was 19, some wild shit happened, and I did some vigilante shit, and I had to leave Jersey for two years. We talked about that. And the only place that I could, I didn't know nowhere to go in the country. I didn't know nowhere to go. 
and my my dad lived in South Carolina. Let's and get I had the facts. to I had to make the, just the facts. Dad had, robbed the liquor store. The, nah, that's not what happened. <laughs> no, it was deeper than that. No, 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 for real. Bro. He told me. Yeah, nah, bro. He told me about this so, shit. It was so, some crazy shit. So so I had to go somewhere. My pop was like, "All right, you can come here." And that's Dad when we Marlon formed Pike that, Lakers. <laughs> nah, that's not what happened. <laughs> I didn't rob a liquor store. But that's how we got cool cuz we it was out of necessity. I had I needed to go somewhere. You robbed the liquor store next to Cousins. Nah, just, no. <laughs> <laughs> that joint was like that joint is only a block away, but nah, God, that's not what happened. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga robbed the liquor store right next to Cousins in Camden. That's crazy. <laughs> All my Camden people cracking the fuck up yeah. right now. Yeah, Cousins. They want to know how the fuck do Gilly know about the Spanish spot Cousins yeah. in fucking? Camden. It was the dirtiest grocery yeah. store ever when we shopped there. Cousins, they had the oldest. Yeah, I still get my steaks was, from there. No, nah, but it no, was it was. A, it was legend. it was dirtier back in the day. It was like it's dirty in the eighty. In the eighties, it was crazy. Steaks. He loved them steaks. <laughs> I love the dirty steaks from cousins. He loved when Mickey and Money, Mickey, and Mickey, Mickey and Minnie run over the food in there. You know how you go there, your bread have holes in there because they didn't visit it. <laughs> That's <shit> different. <laughs> hey, listen, let's get into um. No, fuck that. What's the difference between? And we talking today's era between it. The younger street niggas and the older street. Oh, that's easy. Older, that's easy. Uh, because uh, older. because you be having a lot of old niggas out here still trying to live a hold on to yesterday. No, no. See, their whole the, life is a throwback Thursday. See the problem. What they is used this. to do, how much money they used to get, the bitches they used to fuck, the cars they used to drive. A lot of them be out of touch with the reality. Some of them come home. Some of them used to be. And they be and they and they whole thing is what they used to be. And motherfuckers is all like, like, listen, man, ain't nobody trying to hear that. And 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 what's different between then and now, that monster and gorilla that you used to be as a young boy, you're not that no more. Because you in the dead time or you got a kids now, you got a family or whatever life. Now, if I go out there, if, not just me, if somebody do something to a young boy, you're an older cat or whatever's going on. A young boy is not thinking about jail. They're not thinking about losing their wife, their family, the kid. Not, a young cat is moving right out. Bang. Come right back. You do something, they're going to get it. Boom, boom, boom. They're they not playing. Like, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's time for like, and the reality is a lot of older cats got to get the fuck out of the way. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying all of them. Some of them understand the reality of now and they know how to navigate through this world as it no, is now. all of them. <laughs> no, 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 not all of them. No, no, I'm talking All of the old heads need to get oh, the no, fuck no, no, out no, the no, way. Oh, no, 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 no. You're talking about the, the streets. Yes. You're talking about the streets. Oh, yeah, streets. Because if you old and you know what time it is, it's best to slide out and just let them do whatever they're doing because- Young boys is not thinking. They ain't got no time to think. They whole thing is about you disrespecting me. And, and they're and very no, impulsive. And I'm not letting no man disrespect me because once again, the father wasn't there. Ain't nobody never, my dad was, so you already got that anger for that, that, that not having that father there, that boy no that was in your life. for elders. So it's like, man, fuck that. And to all the old niggas who life is a throwback Thursday and you still want to be out here in these streets fucking with these young niggas. And you want to be telling the story about what you used to be? Yeah. Let me tell you what them niggas is thinking. Yeah, old head, I know what you used to be. I heard you about used that. to give money. And then, guess what? I'm the nigga right now that you used to be. Yeah. So fuck with me if you want I've to. Heard so niggas, I've heard niggas say so shit. Fuck with like me literally, if you like want to. you ain't shot a nigga in eight years. Yeah, you got so, to. So, so fuck with me if you want to. Because I'm the nigga that you telling all the stories about. Yup. And and I, the nigga, right now, the nigga you telling me you used to be, I'm that nigga right now, and I'll shoot you till you catch on fire, bitch. And I got more work than you ever put in. So you better, you big because your work ain't updated. Uh -huh. I don't want to hear about the niggas you shot in 96. Nigga, I wasn't even born. 86. I wasn't even born, nigga. What you was doing in jail. You, you shot some niggas before I was born. I don't want to hear about that shit. That shit don't mean nothing to me. I just shot a nigga last week. So to all you old heads... Please do yourself a favor and get the fuck out of these young niggas' way. That's the difference between the old street niggas and the young street niggas. Is them niggas is the nigga you used to be. So please let them niggas go through their journey in life. And to the young niggas who want to be young Thundercats, just know all of y'all ain't going to make it through. Some of you niggas are going to take that escalator ride to heaven. Some of you niggas is going to go to the penitentiary. And some of you niggas is going to go to the penitentiary and rap. And going to come the fuck back home and do the same fucking thing you was doing before you went to the penitentiary and ratted. So, 
That's my version of the only difference between an old street nigga and a young street nigga. There's a big difference, and, I, and it's best to just get out the way, change the game. Now we're going to take you to stories from the cell. Mm. It's crazy. The ingenuity of guys in prison is unbelievable. I remember I was in the shower one time. And this was later in the game of me being in prison. I was in Greatest Four Penitentiary. And in Greatest Four Penitentiary is different than like in other jails, like in Dallas, and you know, you had to you only could take a shower at eight o'clock at night. Like it was a rat you're not taking no shower uh anytime you want in the day. So if you in jail, you gotta you gotta be a vicious, a vicious sink, you gotta be a sink warrior. Like you go work out, uh, uh, work out afternoon is hot as shit. You got to come back, so you throw the sheet up. You was the king of the bird baths. No, I'm just saying you got to be one. But I'm breaking it down the whole showering process. And a lot of these jails, they don't let you shower. But in greatest for you was able to shower whenever time. As soon as they open the door up in the morning, you out. You could just, is it? Because that was a penitentiary. It's different. Dollars was too, but it was different. It was just wide open and more. So it's early. Go to the yard on the side yard. Anybody knew greatest for they was in the side yard. I go take a take a nice little run. Come come back. Let me get jump in the shower. I jump in the shower, old school come up in there. Cause in greatest for them, the old heads that been in prison, a lot of them, they got like on a, on a, on a minimum side, already got 30 in, 30, 40, 55, 60 years in, literally been in the penitentiary that long. So they hold mind and how they think they still stuck in a time that don't exist no more. Cause, but they not going to play no fucking games with you. So I jump in the shower, when they, go in there, jump in, got my shorts on. Like, you know, dudes get like the tailor to make you the brown shorts, whatever jail you was at, you bring them. So the old head come in, snatch his towel off. All he got on is these boxes, right? So I ain't paying him no attention. Hey, what's going on? I always respect the OGs. I don't care. That's just how it came up. Like, but you speak to niggas in the shower? Yeah, niggas talking. Niggas even talk in the shower. Like, that's the that's penitentiary. I'm just telling right. you straight up. Right. Like, what's up, old head? Like, what's up? You acknowledge. He walked in that joint. What's going on, OG? What's up, youngin'? What's up, blood? All right, what's happening? When I'm young blood, whatever. So I'm doing my thing. <laughs> and, like... Two minutes of him to being in the shower <laughs> oh, under the water. <laughs> He's a nut. Under the water, all I heard is ding, 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 ding. I'm like, what the? F-? Old head had his boxers on and had a knife tied around his leg and it fell. I heard that John Jop. I seen that shit. You was STD. <laughs> I wasn't scared to death, but you you don't know. But you like... <clears throat> He was like, hey, anything cool? I'm like, yeah, I had to make sure that wasn't about me. Or, you know, I had to make sure that wasn't, that wasn't, I wasn't, that, that whole thing wasn't subscribed to me. That whole, so I had to make sure what the fuck is going on. Cause I, made it, I ain't gonna hold you. I made a bet. Yeah, I'm he was like, about oh. to have your butthole bleeding like, with that oh, knife like oh, the homie, oh, 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 like, like your roofie oh, boy. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So I'm like, so when I turn around, I do like, oh, yeah, anything cool? He's like, yeah, anything cool, blood. John Phil. He go back, I'm like, I'm, listen, only thing I'm activating is I usually dry off, but I ain't worried about drying off. I slid over to the jaw. Because listen, listen, I slid over to the jaw, grabbed my towel, and I bit out that jaw. Excuse me. I bit out that jaw. I shot. I went back to the cell, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, hold up. I know I didn't see what, what I didn't see. So when I go back to the cell, my door, I was in B211. Anybody know on, on A block, it ain't too far from it. So you can look at your door and see the shower. So I had to make sure that wasn't about me. So I'm still like, even though, he notified me that it wasn't. I had to make sure, right? Because I ain't know. Them old school players, you got to stand. A lot of old heads, listen, and it's not to nobody personally, but a lot of old heads that was in jail back in the day, like, that's still down. I'm talking about have been down. Not all of them. Not all of them. Don't get me wrong. They was cool with fucking, fucking the Whoa. back in the day. But times changed when a bunch of young people started to come. So now jail changed because dudes grandsons who's coming to jail, they nephews, and they can't, and they ain't with that smut back on the street. Because a motherfucker come to jail and call him, hey, mom, you know, you know, you know, uncle, what's the name up here? He had somebody in the cell with him. Somebody in the cell? Yeah, he had this boy in the cell named, with him named Keisha. Keisha, they got women in there? No, uncle up here getting some ass. <laughs> so listen, that start happening, and what happened was, uh, it, it became a lot of tension, because I ain't gonna tell you, like in the, like in the 90s, I ain't gonna hold you like in the 90s. A lot of old heads was mad because a lot of young boys started, because a lot of young boys started coming to jail and they had to put the and they had to put their dick back on the shelf. They kinda had their dick. They was mad. They had to, they had to put cause they was up there fucking like crazy. Like on some real shit. Like and to the point where the, it was the, you fucking. Man, you better get, get the fuck out of here, man. 
the fuck is the matter with you, man? Right. No, on some real to, shit. I just had to throw that out no, there. No, no, throw shit out there. On oh, some real shit. And it's not saying nobody particularly. Because you fucking like, what, no, no, no. when niggas came up there, did you have no, to put you? your dick on the shit? <laughs> no, 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 did you? Damn, me up there, damn old cousin. <laughs> no, it's a real shit. So somebody stabbed little cuz, get him shipped out. <laughs> he got his own little cuz stabbed. <laughs> little cuz, I, I, mean, I got put my dick on his shelf. Stab that nigga, get him Listen, out of here. So it's some real shit. It's like it's like it was like no, it was, it was crazy, man. Like because you don't know, like you got old heads, right? And you'll be talking to one of the old heads from down the way. They from back in the day, be like, damn, OG, what's going on, old head? He be like, hey, young blood, what's going on? Let me out. Listen, what's going on with such and such? You could then get a little conversation. Like, say me and Gil standing there, and that might be an old head from down the way. He might know a pop or knew a, 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 somebody, right? So you talking to him for a minute. And then a punk could walk by, and he be talking to us. He be like, hey, baby, how you doing? You be like, oh, oh, what the fuck is you doing? I'm here, don't have me. And you just be like, he be like, no, that's cool, that's cool, she cool. Oh, no, she not. <laughs> fuck is you mean, she? <laughs> Like you, you trying to figure out what the fuck is going on, and you don't know. Like you really, like you really don't know. And you always like, no, that's good. no, it's not. And then you come to find out, you ask another old head, oh, it's oh, yo, what's up? What's the name? Skip, oh, it, oh, stay the fuck away from me, man. That nigga was a, that nigga's an animal. What you mean he animal? <laughs> that nigga, man, he had he had. Listen, he been in jail for fifteen years. He had fifteen boyfriends. That's what? Oh shit. <laughs> We, that nigga was a legend down the way. That nigga ain't who he was. All them stories you heard about that nigga, because you know, you ain't, it's no bullshit, man. When anything I love, my homie, dude I grew up with, I ain't saying nobody's name. Anybody that know us, they know. He's always talking, my pops, he this, he that. My pop, this, that, and the third. We go up to jail. I go up to the jail, ran into his papa, called out the other way. I was like, yo, man, what's the name to talk about his pop? His pop's gay. He's gay. I'm not, excuse me, not, he's gay. You're like, what? Yeah, he's a, he's a, uh, like, what? No, no, I said, yeah, I already go tell him. He said, hold on, tell him that. Because his pop's still here. I don't want to run into his pop. I don't, <laughs> don't, give me, yeah. don't give me no problems. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, he catch you in the shower, nigga. Uh -huh. Don't give me no problems. You Big know what I'm saying? Wallow, gay Wallow ain't even signed up for that stab shit. You. I ain't even signed up. He'll stab you two ways, nigga. And kiss him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wallow trying to wash up with a phone book taped to his chest. <laughs> How you going to do that? Nah, man, you need surprise. Let's get in a million dollars worth of game. A million dollars worth of game. He said, yo, OG, I've been talking to this girl for a while now. And everything has been going good. The only problem is we started talking right after she broke up with her boyfriend. Now, I don't know if she broke up with him so she could talk to me or if it's coincidental. But how am I supposed to know if she really fucking with me or if I'm just a rebound? Well, at the end of the day, bro, just trust the process. Because I'm going to keep it all the way real. Ain't no pussy like rebound pussy. <sighs> she fucking all the frustrations of that <laughs> nigga. That's why he, that's why he really wanted to be She's fucking, fucking all special. the frustrations on your dick. Enjoy life right now, player. She taking all the frustrations out on you. She she fucking you into a coma. Don't worry about it. Be Dennis Robin, nigga. Get all the rebounds. Don't re, No pussy like, let me tell you something. Because if, if it is rebound, you're getting the best of the best right now. So, if y'all do end up being together, it's only going to get worse from here, player. So, you might as well get that good rebound pussy because, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something the old head told me back in the day. I might, I think I told y'all this already. Old head said, ain't no pussy like new pussy. And ain't no pussy like two pussies. And, ain't no, <laughs> and the only pussy that's better than new pussy is two pussies. <laughs> You see that? So you got some new pussy right now, and it's off a rebound, and she fucking you with all the frustrations of her ex nigga. Please get the fuck out of my DM and enjoy that vagina. Enjoy, sir. Enjoy yourself, sir. Enjoy that vagina and all the frustrations that she taking out on the dick. Enjoy that vagina, young man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if it if it end up going somewhere else, then then enjoy the motherfucking ride. All right, listen. Who would you be? Now, this, now, this is gonna get a little crazy. They get you, you get you, you receive. Oh, Tootie calling. You sure you want to answer that's that last time? Last time she called you, she played you. Put it on speed. Two. I'm I'm in the middle of I'm in the middle of my podcast. Two. You want to do this well, every week? You want to do this every like, week? Um, I just was working sure you're okay because there's like a billion cops in the alleyway. Because what? A billion cops in the alleyway. Oh, sh upstairs? Yes, that's why I was like, what? 
What the fuck happened? Is that them knocking on the door? Oh my god. Hey, stop! Oh, we going down. Oh my god. That's them knocking on the door. Hold, hold two. I hit you back. They knocking on the door too. We going to jail, Tootie. Oh my god. Bye. Oh, shit. oh my god. Hey, listen. Um, you get thirty million dollars. Yo, the cops is upstairs, man. Fuck the cops. Yeah, I ain't yeah, did nothing yeah, wrong. Listen. You get thirty million dollars, but you got one leg. You get thirty million dollars, but you got to do ten years in jail. Or you get thirty million dollars, and your dick don't work no more. Who what? you gonna be? I mean, nobody's picking the dick don't work. Shit, I ain't going to jail for ten years, and I damn sure ain't doing the one leg joint. So yes, bitches, you will. You'll use the leg. They got prosthetic joints. A bitch will be out here sucking a, the a, a fucking. <laughs> she be sucking a saggy I'm taking the dude, dick. I'm taking the dude with no with, with his, dick, his piece don't work. I got thirty minutes. I go get it hooked up. No, what? but no, you can't get it hooked up. How you gonna say you can't get it? You, you said I got it. thirty million. My piece don't work. Do it. Are you telling me I can't go get pay some? You can't do it. That, that's, bring a back part of the, that's the part of the joint. You gotta have your your piece is dead from here on out. Your shit boo. Can't nobody can a bitch blow. <laughs> she can't get <give> mouth <laughs> to dick resuscitation and bring you back to life at all. You got He's thirty million dead. dollars, but your dick is dead. A bitch will be out here sucking a saggy dick. My shit be dropping all out of mouth. No, I'm paying. I, you, I, listen, listen. I'm pay, you listen. If you got thirty M's, you are gonna pay to get your piece back. But no, I, he's saying you can't get your piece back. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing, Gil? <laughs> bitch, I'm telling you, bitch. I had my dick in the mouth. Soon as the dick come out of mouth, it'd be like, <laughs> hold on. So you gonna, <laughs> he gonna let his piece? Be hold on, hold on. You gonna let your piece go out? <laughs> you ain't gonna feel nothing. <laughs> Hey, you think I'm be you think I'm be running around here hopping and shit to the back? All right, but think about this. No, I'm not. I don't want to be like that. Listen, shit, shout out. You know, no disrespect to anybody who's lost their leg, but I don't. I wouldn't want. I don't want to be like that. And I damn sure ain't going to jail for ten years All for right. no fucking money. So imagine so, this. Imagine this. If we were single though, you got one leg, right? Uh huh. You got thirty million. Imagine the episodes you could do with one leg, like more heads uh, the, the chicks could fit because you only got one leg right here. You, you do know how they got to fit. You're Boom. crazy. But I'm saying now, like, you Dev. could get four joints. Like, it goes, he always go back to his porno. Well, he'll be I, Dev with the kickstand. That's cool. Kickstand Dev. Yo, and One leg chuck. Just line him up. And he pornos. lean on his joint. Yeah, and porno. Oh, 30. Hey, he'll lean, lean Dev up <laughs> against the wall. <laughs> lean him up. <laughs> he get his show. <laughs> But he would he, he be getting, he be getting his dick sucked like this. <laughs> he got one leg, they lead against the wall. His leg in the air. <laughs> fuck his fuck his dick. Yo. I'm talking about. All right, so you taking a one leg. That's cool. Y'all would too. No, I'm not don't tell me what the fuck I'm taking. I'm taking a soggy dick. Fuck is you talking about? I ain't taking a one leg. I ain't taking a uh, what you doing? You doing a ten years in jail? Fuck it, I already did twenty. Make it thirty. My piece, fuck my piece got go. <laughs> my piece got go out. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Yo, y'all crazy. No listen, way. Listen, man. Listen. Straight up. I can't do that, man. Yo, yo. One they leg. got prosthetic joints. Prosthetic legs? Yeah, like fake joints. No, your whole purpose is so you could do some some porn that ain't out yet. Some kicking porn. Drake, bro, nigga, man. Drake bought Nate. my boy Quentin Miller a fake I be, leg. I, I be eating ass yeah. and yeah. pussy. Damn. I be, a, a, I be a, a ass and pussy eating maniac. <laughs> yup. Every time a bitch lay down, all she is, he's a man. Because I believe, I believe my maniac. piece will come back alive one day. <laughs> no, see, see, but you add an extra shit to the story. Your There's piece no piece. Not it's not coming alive. back. It's dead. Your piece is in heaven. I can't imagine. Yeah. It's a noodle. It <laughs> is what it is. Think it's up. I, I got my piece going to come back alive. I can't. Listen, the, the, the thought of me, like, that would be hard for my piece is. <laughs> hey, you, that nigga be on eight Rangers. <laughs> Yo, but then what you gonna do? Your balls is just filled up. You can't let the go, you can't let the clip go. Like how you like how you live? Like what are you gonna do? You gotta go to the doctor get it drained. Like I'm at work. Like I'm trying to figure this out. How you going? How you? Yo, how you? Hey, I tell you one. Like it's more bullets keep going in the clip and you can't shoot it. I tell you one thing. Dev always talk that karate shit. 
Give Dev one leg. He gonna lose his mind. I whip the fuck out of no, Dev. No, 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 this is the thing. Hey, I foot sweep the shit out there. No, you got people out there. <laughs> nah, that you would be no, able to do that. Listen, that's right. Listen, 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 that's a fact. Listen, listen. <laughs> he ain't got no balance. I foot sweep the shit out there. One Wham. leg. Wham. <laughs> fuck Dev up. Dev hit the mat. I be dropping. He be trying to get up, struggling, trying to get up, roll over. I choke the shit out of him. Damn. Throw him all toy in the joint. Joy. What's this joint? You, you would take advantage of me. Damn, I can't do the art. You would take advantage of me. What's the joint where you where you I put your yeah, you put your like, arms under a nigga joint and have you Nelson. Nigga, yeah put your head forward pussy shut up he ain't got no balance he got one yeah. so you just George you were George he ain't George shit, shit out of him pick him all See, up dump him on but his shit he got shit. thirty money <laughs> he got thirty million he gets you hit no, no, he, get you, he put a hit no, on him no 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 listen I get my karate brothers look he met him the other day he met him the other day three niggas on step no two niggas on steroids and a short old head with with the bird now oh he's dangerous him up. I'm fucking yeah, over him up. No, he's a, I'm uh, fucking all of them up. He's one of my fellow I'm fucking all of them niggas up. Yeah, he's dangerous. I'm, fuck, I'm fucking all of them niggas up. He had two. Then I, I leave. He texts me. Yo, the guy just walked in. One of the strongest men in the world coming. No, no, no. no not done. in the world. In America. In America. In America. Okay. All that tells me is he needs some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is His piece do? might be dead. <laughs> you know that stuff. Did. You know the Roy's kill your piece. <laughs> they say the Roy's kill your piece. They oh said this shit. God. You just said on them roids. Uh, I'm on them roids. Because we know your, your dick dead. <laughs> Red <laughs> Rangers, Blue Rangers, <laughs> Rangers, Three Rangers, Three Rangers, Four Rangers. Rangers. <laughs> like, he's done. <laughs> that's, that's why he front him. I take the one leg. Your piece already dead. You get. Right. Like, no, you just imagine getting 30 million this, right now. Your piece dead. That's the craziest part. Like now I'm thinking, like, damn, I can't do the arts with one leg. Well, you can, but. You ain't damn. worrying about no arts. You got that parade. He ain't worrying about no arts. Mm. He tripping. Damn, but the fact that he could just sweep my leg is crazy. I sweep the shit out of his leg, kick the shit out that joint. He ain't got no balance. He talk all that jujitsu shit. He should go right out his ear. Listen, his leg be in the ear. And you hit it. Wham! Ah, boom! He's trying to hold his biscuit. He be all on his top. Now listen, change, to change the subject, what you listening to right now? Lil Dirk new album. He love it. He listen, he's a... Do you, know, you know Dirk? Dirk, listen, he love Dirk. Now, who you listen to? Um, I listen to this dude named Xavier Molly. He got a joint called Russia. He, he dope. Xavier Molly. Molly, yeah, he dope. That's a freak name. No, uh, what would you say? Xavier and and you still listening? And you still listening to Dirt? No, Molly, like 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 M A L I. Oh, you oh. so you you listening to that new Dirt now? Yeah, I'm telling you that new. You was talking about the new Dirt? That new Dirt man is crazy. For me personally, uh, I'm listening to a lot of young cats, but right now I'm really zoned in on like. The, the anthology of Jay-Z. I'm listening to every joint he ever put out. Just right now, I just had in there. Everything. 444, Reasonable Doubt, everything. 444 Black was album. a whack-ass album. No, that was, it was a lot of information. Uh, in I, I didn't that like that it as much corny. as people talked about it. People that talked about it like swag. it was crazy. It's on his lower level that of that albums for me, swag. and I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a whole fan. I fuck with Hove. I'm Heavy. a whole fan, but that shit was whack. Cut it out. I love it. Listening to Foo Foo Foo, well, you need to listen to Five Five Five. And, and, and I'm listening, and I'm and I'm listening to Tribe Called Quest as always. Uh, always listening to Tribe uh, Called Quest. Yo, 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 yo. First off, yo, yo, yo. We already. I don't listen please. to Tribe Called Quest. All right, that's cool. Rest in peace, Fife Dog. Okay, that's cool. I like that. You see, I, I like that. Yeah. Rest in peace to Fife you're doing dog. better. Well, that's what's I'm up, man. Because the, the last time I was like. Rest in peace to them niggas. It was like, damn, only one nigga died. <laughs> Fuck did you talk about? And I wasn't even saying it like that. You know what I'm saying? So I want to get a proper respect. Okay, that's, I respect that. That's cool. But I don't listen to them niggas. Um, thank y'all for tuning in to me and Osworth for game. Me, 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 me. me we appreciate y'all every single week making every us week, the man. number one music podcast in the number country. One. I'm Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. And it's just like... Wait, hold on. And that's Devin Nasty with an I-N on the end. Yeah. That sound too pornish. Well, you was a porn nigga. He was right. a porn star. All right, let's leave it alone. <laughs> and it's just like that. Right!